Hey everyone, this is Vikas from Spall Academy and today we're going to look at new tutorial series that we're going to work on. And this tutorial series is about converting your WordPress blog into an Android application. So I have seen a lot of people asking how we can convert the WordPress blog into the Android application so that you can publish that in Play Store and uh, you can reach to the um, wide range of audience, okay? So in this project, we will be parsing the JSON that is automatically provided by the WordPress. So we are not going to use any web view or any kind of, uh, you know, we are not just going to load the URL to our Android application by using the web view, like how most people do it. So instead of that, what we are going to do is we are going to use the WP JSON file that is provided by the WordPress. You can see here, every WordPress uh, websites come with this uh, uh, JSON files automatically. So all you have to do is uh, access this URL and you can go, you can parse this post content and you can show that in Android application. So in this process, we'll also use a volley to parse the JSON file that we have here and we will extract the title, link, descriptions and content of the WordPress post and we will display that in our Android application. So this is our Android application. We have this navigation menu and drawer menu okay here you can add wide range of menus and categories and etc so i have not added anything right now but uh, if you want me to show you that as well uh, let me know in the comment box and i will make more videos on that but for this series we'll only focus on creating this uh, simple design we'll create this navigation menu navigation drawer menu and we will create this grid view we will extract the data from this JSON file here and we will display that in details activity and this is the details of our post. You can see we are getting the title of the post as the uh, toolbar title and we have this back button and we go back to our home page and you can display any number of posts you want here. Okay, so uh, this is really simple tutorial series that we are going to work on. So you don't need to have any kind of uh, vast knowledge of Android application development. The only thing that you need is that you need to have the WordPress websites available to you and you should be able to access this uh, URL, okay? So let's go ahead and create the sample Android Studio project. So I have my Android Studio open here and let's go ahead and create the new empty project. Give the name, I'm gonna give the name as WP block okay and leave everything else as it is and click on finish so it's gonna take few seconds to build this project once that is done we are good to go ahead so we need this URL from your blog so I assume that you already have a WordPress websites available to you if not you can use this same address here just to practice your uh, Android app development skills, but uh, I do not recommend that because this thing might not be available in the future because if large number of people are accessing my website, it's going to get down. So it's going to use a lot of bandwidth. So I might not make it available in the future. So watch out for that. Otherwise, you can copy the same uh, URL from here and we're going to go to our Android Studio and go to resources file and inside values, we have this string.xml. So here I'm going to create the new string and give the name as URL and I'm going to paste the URL that we're going to use here. Okay. So that we'll be able to use this URL as a reference. So this is our activity main. And now first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to create the navigation menu that is a drawer menu. Okay. So draw navigation menu. And after that, we will go ahead and parse the uh, JSON file that we get from this URL here. And for that, we also need Volley library and Picasso to display the image. So let's go and add that dependency as well. So let's search Volley library and we'll get this uh, developer.android.com websites where we can download, we, where we can copy the latest version of Volley. So copy this dependency. Let's go to Android Studio go to Gradle file of our application and here we can paste the dependencies and let me get the Picasso dependency as well 
so I'm gonna search the Picasso github and go to the github repository of Picasso and from here we'll get the latest version of dependencies that we are going to need for our application okay now I'm gonna sync this Gradle file so that I will be able to use this uh, library in our application so now it is done we are good to go so let's go ahead and implement the navigation drawer and everything in the next lecture so I'll see you there bye bye